let's keep it going. Um, this next comedian, she's really terrific. Originally from Illinois and coming to the stage from Los Angeles. Let's all give it up for Summer Austin. Hey, everybody! Hi! Oh, give it up for Caroline, Janelle, and Dad for putting this together for all of our comedians and for my Chicago people out there. Woo! Chicago! Represent! I miss you. Well, Dad uh, was talking about age. I know some of us are all kind of the same age. I uh, I just turned 43 years old, yes. And I am a new dog walker. So give it up for me. Uh, things are going well for me and my personal life, right? Yeah. I bet you thought I was going to say something important, right? Like mom or um, doctor or something like that. Nope. Just a dog walker. Yep. Things are, things are really happening. Uh, I have some important friends, like people like dad and other people like, you know, in the industry. And my friend recently, not a different person. She was saying she was raising She's saying, oh, I'm having such trouble raising this. She's a producer for a movie, and she's raising $16 million for this movie, okay? No shit, right? And do you know the exact thought that went through my head when she said that? I was like, oh, I'm really trying to nail down this Goo Goo Dolls joke. You know what I mean? Like, just trying to get this punchline, this fucking Goo Goo Dolls. And it just, it's just not coming. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, ah. Oh. Now, at this point, in my life, this is not how I thought my life was going to turn out. It's not, you know, um, actually, like when I was a kid, uh, I always said what I wanted to be when I grew up was a designated driver because we didn't have one of those in my family. So <laughs> <laughs> I still don't have a car. That's what I'm saying. I still don't, nothing's going well. Um, so I do. I have a good relationship with my parents. Some of you on here know them. Uh, I they are great people, but they do love to party. Anyone else's parents here love to party? Uh, maybe yeah. just a little. I see a couple of people. I got to scroll through here. Okay, is it just like hard drugs, or is it uh, you know, like you know, or just alcohol? Oh, I saw Aaron's hand. Yeah, um, the, alcohol. Alcohol. Okay, so not like mine. Okay, uh, so mine were into the hard <laughs> drugs. Uh, in fact, um, my dad did sort of take this to a whole new level. Like his name is Party. Like his name is Ron Party. Austin, with, and then he goes by Party, which is the abbreviated version, uh, and he his pronouns are he, him, Party, I swear, uh, but I call him Party because that's what he prefers, but I know, okay, I'm woke, I know you're not supposed to say preferred pronoun, okay, my dad was born a party, all right, let's just face it, he was born a fucking party. My mom, her real name is Louise, and she goes by Wheezy, which is also the name of a rapper, right, right, do you know this, Lil Wayne? Right? I think I'm right about this. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, Lil Wayne, and he was just, like, pardoned by Trump, right? Or something like that? Yeah, I think he was, yeah. Uh, my mom, uh, Wheezy, has not been pardoned yet. She is still serving a life sentence, married to my father, and they're here tonight. Macy? No, I'm just kidding. Macy? <laughs> Macy and your lovely wife are not my parents. Uh, but I wish you were. You seem very, very well-adjusted. Like, super well-adjusted. <laughs> My parents don't have China. They just have like a, an amalgam of like, you know, like old Tupperware things, you know, like, like they just hit save everything. Like you look like you have nice things. Uh, we didn't have nice things because my dad would spend it all on drugs. Um, so uh, like I, I do love my parents dearly, though. I really, really do. Um, I just I don't know how much of that is like true love and how much of that is Stockholm syndrome. You know what I mean? Because I like <laughs> truly identify with my captors um so okay so uh in terms of the dog walking i'm meeting these dogs on this app called rover because you have to meet them first you can't just go like do the thing do you know what i mean you have to meet them like come on it's a pandemic okay so you have to meet them and uh recently i had a dog uh very cute uh wouldn't stop humping my leg during the meet and greet the entire time you guys like the entire time, it just, I didn't know what to do, right? And it made me think, still got it. You know what I'm saying? Still got it. At 43. At 43. Because it is hard out there for a bitch. You know what I'm saying? It is. Woo. It is hard out there for a bitch. And at least I'm getting some D. D stands for dog. I'm getting some dog. Yeah, I'm getting that. Gotta get those, gotta get those furry creatures in your life, you know? 
Um, a lot of people think like that animals are better than humans. Give it up if you think that. Cause some people are like, yeah, screw people. Right. Yes, I do too. There are just some things that like, you know, like, like humans do that animals would never do. You know what I mean? Like, um, I was ghosted for the first time very recently in my life. Yes, I was by my husband of 17 years. Yes, this is true. This is true. Now, before you get too concerned about me, I know that when I say that joke, it sounds like he died. Now, he didn't die. He's still very much alive, although he is dead to me. Okay, let's make that very clear. Um, <laughs> I quit stand-up comedy for a bit um, in 2016, just to bring it back to politics, because we clearly love that topic, everyone. Um, when Trump got elected, I just didn't think anything was funny anymore. You know what I mean? Some of you might have thought that too. Just didn't think anything was funny anymore. And then um, in 2018, m when I turned 40, my husband of 17 years left me for one of my 26-year-old acting students. And I was like, yes, that is hilarious. Oh, life. That is a good one, life. You got me, life. You got me. And back to stand-up comedy I went. And here I am, everybody. Thanks for being here. So if we can say anything positive is that my midlife crisis is right on track, okay? It is right on track. It's happening the way it totally should be happening. Um, Yeah, so, like, I I, I might be, I'm I'm still, like, young, right? Like, this, the sad news is I'm old enough to be left for someone half my age. But the good news is I'm still young enough that I can find that special someone, get married again, and then get left for someone half my age. Like, I can still happy. Okay, I think I have, like, uh, just a tiny bit of time here, and I'm just going to do one quick thing uh, inspired by something I saw last night. Okay, this is my audition uh, for a Humira commercial. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's me playing uh, a tambourine. Thank you very much, everyone. I'm Summer. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Summer Austin, guys. Keep it going. This next comedian is coming to the stage from Los Angeles.